Hey everyone, so I am back today. It's been about a week, I think, since my last video, but I've been very busy and doing family stuff and I flew across the country and blah, blah, blah. I don't even want to get into it, but I am back with a huge makeup haul today. I went to the drugstore, I ordered some stuff online, and I went to Sephora. So, very, very collective. Okay, so the first thing I got, I actually ordered online and I did pay for this myself. I wasn't sent this. It's from BH Cosmetics and it's the 88 Shimmer Palette and I have wanted one of these for a while. Um, my one year anniversary, YouTube anniversary, is coming up August 5th, which I'm really excited about. That was the day I posted my very first video. So it's almost a year and it's taken me that long to finally like cave in and get one of these things because they're just so practical. And today on my eyes right now, I actually have on a lot of the corally orange shades, which are in this row so so pretty um and very very pigmented like insane like people aren't joking when they say these things are really really pigmented um but the reason i got it is because i was looking for a corally orange type of shade to wear for summertime and i just couldn't find one at the drugstore mac really doesn't have a lot of like orangey or pretty kind of like coral peachy shades i asked you guys on twitter if you like knew of a coral eyeshadow and a lot of you guys um told me a lot of mac shadows but they were all like limited edition so i'm like you know what this palette was only $13. Only $13 is on sale right now. Um, I think it should still be on sale. I only got this like a week ago. So I will zoom in so you can see what I did. A peachy shade on my lower lash line. And then I put like an orange shade on my lid. And almost like this shade I'll show you. <laughs> I put this like dark red shade mixed with this bronze shade in my crease. So it's very, very pretty. It has like a peachy sherbet on my lower lash line, which I am loving that. I want to get um, their blush palette, I think. It looks really, really good. There's a lot of pretty blush colors. It's so nice, and I definitely would recommend it to you guys. Um, just because I don't want to spend $15 on a MAC eyeshadow when it's like a bright blue or a bright, crazy orange color that I'll wear maybe once or twice a year. And that costs $13. It has every color under the sun. And I'm definitely going to start doing more colorful tutorials. So if you have any type of colorful tutorial that you want to, want to see me do now that I have that palette, definitely just let me know in the comments below. And I'll also have like the BH Cosmetics website and stuff down below. And I bought that myself. Yes, I did. Sitting here. It's the Stanley Hansen Salon FX Real Nail Polish Strips, which I've talked about. I have a whole video on these strips. I'll link that video down below. Um, but I wanted to get this one because it's really pretty. It's called Frock Star. And it's just a multicolored glitter. And I love wearing glitter nail polish, but it's also a pain to get off. Um, and these things last for like two weeks easily. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And these are $10. I got it at Walgreens. I'll just stick with the drugstore stuff right now since I just did that. I got my very first EOS lip balm. I have seen so many people talk about these on YouTube. This is actually a huge leap of faith for me or a huge jumping out of my box because I am a tried and true Burt's Bees chapstick fan. That's all I use. That's all I have used for years and years and years and I love it and so but I wanted to try this because it is 95% organic and paraben free. So this is the only scent they had by the way too at Walgreens um, Summer Fruit so I hope it smells good. Um, but I'm excited to finally try the infamous EOS lip balm. Okay then I got the brand new Falsies Flared Mascara which I'm not sure how this is going to differ from my regular Falsies so I will definitely do like very close up photos of it compared on my blog which is polishandpearls.com so it has like little angel wings on it. I just saw a commercial for it so I'm like I gotta try it because um, this is like one of my favorite mascaras so why did my voice just get very like raspy? Um, so I'm really excited to try this mascara. I will let you guys know what I think of it. I'll probably do like the review on my blog this weekend, so I'll put the link below. Then I got the Garnier Nutrice Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller thing. I've wanted to try this for a long time because I've seen a lot of people say it's awesome, but the original one, which is like the green one, that doesn't have any kind of tint to it, it actually has parabens in it. You guys know I'm like trying to be like a paraben-free princess here. Um, and this one doesn't have parabens in it, so I don't know why one would and one wouldn't, but I got the tinted one and I actual caffeine in it, which is totally cool because I am a caffeine junkie and I don't get super super dark circles I do get dark circles but not like um, really bad but I do get puffiness when I'm really tired so I am excited to try that okay the next thing I got well I got four of them and I'm wearing one of them right now and I'm obsessed with this I saw a commercial like yesterday on this lipstick I don't even know the actual name of it it's the new Maybelline lipstick and it's the one in the commercial where the girls lips are super shiny it's supposed to be like a lip gloss lipstick I guess it does look like I have on lip gloss and I don't I just have on this lipstick and I don't know the name of it because it's like not on here it just says color sensational 
So I will um, write the name down below if you're interested, but it was buy one, get one 50% off, which was awesome. And I'm not a huge drugstore lipstick fan. I'm just going to tell you guys, like I usually don't like drugstore lipstick, but this is awesome. It is very, very shiny and it smells amazing. Usually drugstore lipstick just smells very like cosmetic-y and I hate that. Um, and these smell like orange creamsicles. Oh, it smells so good. Well, I've only used this one. I haven't used the other one, so I'm going to assume they all smell the same. Like orange creamsicles? I love it. Okay, so this is the one I have on. This is the only one I've used so far. This one is called Pink Freeze, and it is so pretty and glossy. It really does look like you have lip gloss on, too, so I love it. And on camera, it's coming off a little muted down. It's more of a true, like, baby baby doll Barbie pink. I don't know. I just love it. I think this is going to be like a new obsession of mine. I want to go get like all the colors now. So yeah, that's pink freeze. Very sheer too. Almost like a lip glaze. The next one I got is called Coral Luster. It's a pretty coral color. I liked it a lot. And I really was only going to get two of these, but um, when it since it was buy one get one half off, I ended up getting four. I thought why not. So this Coral Luster. It's pretty coral. Let's watch that one. I got is called Disco Pink. It has like sparkles in it. It's really pretty. This one I got is called Nude Glow, which is just like a brown nude, which in the tube it does look kind of scary, but it doesn't apply like that. As you can tell, they're very sheer and glossy. It looks like I have lip gloss on my hand, pretty much. So I really like these. Yeah, I think they all smell like orange sherbet, so that's kind of cool. So I love these lipsticks. Definitely, definitely go check them out. They're by Maybelline. I don't know the name, but it's like a whole brand new display of them. They're not like with all of the other Maybelline stuff. They're in their own display. Um, and I'm definitely going to swatch all of these on my lips and stuff and take photos and do a full review on my blog, PolishUpPearls.com, this weekend. So I will tweet it and I will Facebook it when I when those go up. Um, the very last thing I got was at Sephora, and it's called Buxom Laura Does London, this little set. And the reason I got this is because, I don't know if you guys remember, I did another haul not too long ago. And I bought the Buxom Big Healthy Lipstick in London, and that was $19. And this set was $20, and you get a full-size London uh, thing and a full-size lip gloss in Laura. So that is like getting one for free, so I had to buy it. And it was on online, by the way, not in store. So it was on sale for $21, and usually both of these are usually $20 a piece. So I had to get it. And this lip gloss is very pigmented. It's definitely more pigmented than all of the other Buxom glosses that I have. And you guys know I'm obsessed with these Buxom glosses. So you can tell that one's definitely bright. So when I put this on, I definitely have to put very little and sheer it out because it's a little bright for me. Um, but this is like an insane value. It's pretty much like I just said, buy one, get one free or whatever. So if they still have it, I would highly recommend it, even though the gloss is kind of on the brighter side and stuff. So that is my makeup haul. Let me know if you want me to do any kind of like bright tutorials with the BH Cosmetics palette. I'm so excited that I finally got one. Like I feel like I'm part of like the beauty community now since everyone has one of those things. Um, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have um, a fashion haul style video tomorrow because I got a lot of accessories. I went to Forever 21. I have Hot Look. So I know two hauls in a row. I don't know if you guys like that, but I am planning on putting up like an accessories and fashion type haul tomorrow. So let me know if that's cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.